Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to respond to a question that came up in the GEG Ohio group. Um, and somebody asked if it's possible to make multiple Google Forms from a single big bank of questions and be able to just pick randomly uh, a certain number of questions for each quiz. And so the short answer is yes, we can do it by using a funky uh, formula in Google Sheets. Uh, so first thing is here, uh, credit to Kieran Dixon that I came across this, uh, his blog post here uh, about how to generate a random item from a list in Google Sheets. And this whole blog post goes further into uh, all the details and everything. But for our purposes today, I'm just going to copy his third formula here. This one allows us to grab a certain number of unique items from a list, even if there's duplicates. And so here is this formula. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this here. And the idea is we have a form that looks, uh, or I'm sorry, a sheet rather, that looks something like this here. Uh, I'm going to blank out these for right now just so we don't have uh, any extra confusion here. So let me do, you know, I'll just close those. There we go. Um, so let's say I have a bank of questions like we have here. So I have a simple question bank. You know, I only have 10 in here, but you can have a lot more. And let's say I want to have multiple quizzes that come from this big bank of questions. And each quiz just has a random uh, assortment of questions from this question bank. And so that's where this formula comes in. And so the way this works is you just simply start in a column like we have here and just list off all the questions total, all the ones that you have. Then in the next column over, we can just label it quiz A or quiz one, something like that. So I'll call this, I'll call that quiz A. And from here, I'm just going to paste in that formula that we got from Kieran here. So again, it's this, th this third one down here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. And there we go. It kind of formats it weird for some reason. But hey, there it is. It drops in this formula. Now, I can customize this formula a little further as well. So first thing here is I want to make sure it's looking in the right range. Um, so if I go back and look at Kieran's work here, um, he is filtering it by A2 to the rest of A. This just means it's looking... Let me go back here. It's looking in all of column A, starting from the second row and all the way down, which in my case is where I want to put it. So there's nothing I have to change there. You're going to see that same uh, range come up in multiple places. Just make sure they all match wherever you have all those uh, all those questions. And if you have it set up this way, just A2 to A2 colon A will cover the whole thing. Okay, and just make sure it's the same for each time that range comes up. So it's going to show up one time here, another time here, and then a third time here. So it'll show up a few times. Then the other thing you can do to customize is you can choose how many questions it picks from the bank. Uh, from Kieran's original example, he only includes five. You can make as many as you'd like. So for me, maybe I'll come in here and I'll, I'll double click on it so it's a little bit bigger here. And the number to change is the second to last number in the whole formula here. And so this is how many questions it's going to give you at the end. So here it's five. So for me, maybe if I want eight, maybe I want eight questions. I'll hit eight instead and then just hit enter. And there we go. So now I should have eight questions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So now I have eight questions. Uh, I can repeat this whole process for multiple quizzes. So if I want to have, you know, maybe three or four different versions of this quiz, I can do the same exact thing. So I'll go over another column here. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'll go over to another column. I'll have quiz B here. I simply paste in the formula that I had earlier again. Uh, and this time, maybe I'll change it up so maybe there's only four questions. So again, I code that second to last number, change it to however many questions I want, hit enter, and there we go. So now I just have four questions. You will also notice when you refresh the page uh, or do a few other things, the assortment of questions will change each time. Just a heads up about that. Um, so it, it'll kind of do it randomly. So if you hit the refresh button here, 
we'll see. It'll probably change my questions here. So there it goes. It just changed them. Um, so that's something that will happen just from the nature of the formula. Anytime it refreshes it, the formula, it will um, change the which questions it's picking. Uh, but there we go. So that's all we have to do to get a list of questions, a random list of questions from a big bank. The next thing you may want to do is end up with something like this, where I can just take the questions from the Google Sheet and put them directly into a Google form for me. That way I can start, you know, making up my actual form and set it to be, you know, auto graded and all that fun stuff. So what I can do for this one is I'm going to go ahead and go into the extensions menu, go under add-ons and go to get add-ons. And in here, we're going to look for a uh, add-on called form builder. And the one I used, they have a couple different versions. The one I use is the form builder for sheets. Um, that one it lets you just take whatever information you have on a sheet and push it directly to a new Google form. And so I'll show you what that looks like here. So let's go ahead and do extensions again. I already have the extension installed. So here it is, form builder for sheets. And I'll go ahead and click start. Now from here, we'll kind of skip past this uh, other stuff here. They're trying to get you to get the advanced version, but we just need the basic one. That's all we need. And so now it's going to ask us for a source. So it's only one sheet. That's the only tab I have at the bottom. Um, it, it can either look at the whole sheet or a certain range. For us, since I only want, let's say I want to, want to make quiz B here. I just want to make the um, these questions here appear in a new Google form. So what I can do is go to range and then I'll just type in the range that I want. So in, in my case here, I want this range. And so that's gonna be uh, B2 to B5. So I just type that in here. So I type B2 colon B5. Okay. Uh, if you have more, you can also just leave it as colon B and that means it'll just look to the end of that column, so it's not a huge difference. Then we can select the pattern, which means is it just questions? Is it questions and answers? Or is it just a, uh, or is it a quiz? I haven't used this one. I think it turns it into a quiz. For me, I'm just going to do the questions only and click on get. Now it'll give you like a little preview here of what's going to be brought in. So it's automatically going to bring in um, all your questions and you can select which ones you want and you can pick what type of question they're going to be as well we'll scroll down a little further and we're going to go down to create and this is going to have us create a brand new google form you can also do choose form which will let you add these questions to an already existing form if you like uh, but for me i'm just going to do create i'll just call this new form uh, quiz b you have to hit the little check mark. Then we go ahead and hit import selected. It'll take a little bit. Uh, and then it's a, this is actually creating the form for us. And it's going to drop it right into the first level of your My Drive in Google Drive. And so if I go back to my Google Drive here, I'll just open this up. Go to My Drive. And there it is, new form quiz B. And hey, there it is. So it brought in all those questions that I had under that column. Uh, I just realized I put in the uh, the wrong um, <laughs> the wrong column. That's why I put in a different number of questions. I just realized I goofed when I was typing that in. I typed in column B back here. I was looking for column C. That was, that was my mistake. So it brought in these questions instead of these questions. Well, error on my part, but you get the idea. Anyway, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, it's a very cool kind of different tools to combine. Uh, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later.